pants. I'm going to make sure all my enemies are afraid to come near you. Whatever it takes, Kate. I'm going to keep you safe. Well, the Jekyll is aware of the bitter conflict that the Master sometimes feels with Mr. Sir. You can't ask him to betray his man. No, 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 no. Betrayal has nothing to do with him. All I'm asking you to do is remind Mr. Morgan that his loyalties lie with the organization. Now, Mr. Corinthos, all due respect, can't expect Mr. Morgan to both run the organization and follow his personal orders yes, as well. It is indeed this difficult dynamic which made Stone Cold reluctant to pick up the reins of power in the first place. Yes, just remind him to think for himself. That's all. And, and put the organization first, not Mr. Corinthos first. Perhaps the Beneficent One has become our blind Tiresias and we all must listen to his predictions. What is going on? You know, when blind Tiresias first issued his unwelcome prophecy, people would, wouldn't would listen. And Wait, look, I'm, I'm asking Spinelli to remind you where your loyalties lie and all that would be lost if you carry out what Mr. Corinthos wants. You got something to say, Bernie. Say it to me. Don't, don't you, Spinelli. I'm sorry. You, you just, you listen to him. You respect him, and that's how important I think this is. Going after Karpov now would be a terrible mistake. Well, that's the opposite of what you told me before. Didn't you advise me to take him out with a preemptive strike? Yes, that's when I assumed that a truce between you would be impossible, but you proved me wrong. Now, if you violate your own truce, there's going to be open conflict, and, uh, well, it's going to cost us money and lives. Anything else? No. I overstepped them. I'm sorry. It's just how serious I think the situation is. I'll, I'll think about what you said. Thank you. The Bernificent One speaks from a place of deep concern, but the Jackal fears he is completely misguided. You must act on Mr. Sir's behalf. You want me to provoke a war? The Jekyll is aware that Stone Cold considers Mr. Sir a, a mentor and a, maybe even a, a father figure, but one cannot avoid the potential for a deadly Oedipal conflict, the, the shedding of blood, the dark power. Are you running a fever the, again? No, I'm quite well. Spoonless, but well. Okay, can you stop babbling about the Greek it, stuff? It is relevant to the situation, and indeed a strong example of how a similar tragedy could be avoided. See, if... Oedipus has just guided his wagon around that of his father on the road to Thebes. Blind Tiresias' prophecy would have never been fulfilled. Oedipus would have never killed his father, however unknowing. Stone Cold has a similar opportunity to, to avoid a potential conflict and by doing so save himself. So are you saying don't challenge Sonny? We're, we're continuing to refuse to go after Comrade Kar Karpov could lead to Mr. Sir turning his wrath on you. And knowing you, you might not defend yourself. So just... Maybe if you bend to Mr. Sir's will, he'd be placated. So are you saying I should do what's easiest for me? Easy is a relative term. Okay, if I give in to Sonny, I'm taking the coward's way out. The Jekyll fails to see how dispatching Comrade Karpov could be seen as an act of coward. Because I wouldn't be doing it because it's right or it's smart. I would be doing it because I want to keep Sonny as my friend and I want to please him, Spinelli. We don't even have all the facts. If I go to war, I'm going to be hurting everyone. People who work for me, people who are close to me. So I guess it comes down to this. Either I betray them or I betray him. Perhaps in the event of Comrade Karpov's demise, his associates would be too intimidated to retaliate. A conflict with Mr. Sir would be avoided. The attack on the fashionista would be avenged. Peace, or something close, would reign. There's Nadine. That seems odd. Go ahead and take it. Tis, tis I, the jackal. Spelly, it's Nadine Crow. Could you meet me on the M Street Pier, like, now? Are you in dire distress or in need of rescue? Well, not exactly, but I could really use your help. Check off in the meeting. Meeting? Yeah, at the point. Point. 
Are you certain? Well, yeah, I'm certain. That's why I called. Okay, I'll, I'll be there straight away. <sighs> I uh, appreciate your thoughts. I hope my private meeting with the beneficent one couldn't be considered as insubordination. No, 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 not at all. Talking, talking this through makes it a little more clear to me because I can't give in to Sonny no matter how much I want to. Through surgery, uh, she was unconscious when I left. Dr. Drake says she's gonna be, she's gonna be fine. That's uh, that's good news. I'm, I'm happy for you. Okay, here's what what's gonna happen. This is what I should have done months ago. I'm gonna tell you what I want you to do. You're gonna do it. Cause I'm taking over. <laughs> 